What it do, what it do. K-Boss here. We're on uh, one of my uh, baby accounts here. And I just started season three in 166. And uh, I didn't do it on my last one, but um, I was able to save up almost four million in um, experience. So I kind of want to go over what I do. To stay ahead of the game. Give some give some K Boss secrets. I'm on my uh one of my oh actually well I'm recording on another phone. Oh yeah, we'll just use you. Let's see. Can that keep you up? No, we need I need something to oh let's use this. Can we use that to balance it up? Oh yeah, there we go. We're gonna use that. So Anyway, uh, that's I need to go here. I was waiting to use the battlefield <laughs> get the rest of them. <laughs> that's what you need right there. That starts the that starts this whole process off. So what I like to do is I like to get all my uh, orange and purple heroes um, to fifty. So I got twelve million XD. That'd be sick. So, I say to people, if you don't do this, you should be doing this. Hold on. Make sure the camera is not blurry. You should you should be saving it up. So, I'm going to then probably fast forward through this part. But, basically, um, I do... Something a little bit different, and I'll explain why. Because a lot of people do be missing out on some sh on some shizzle, and they probably don't look at the skills of all their players. And people are like, well, why do you waste your stuff on the lower level players? Because it helps your whole ecosystem of your HQ. Each skill that uh, your heroes possess have a certain correlation. And you're looking at the universal skills that automatically do. So your lower rank players, which are your blues and your greens, have universal skills that help um, in the development of either resources or troop training. Or a combination of other things I might be missing. For you guys who want to correct motherfucker. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just doing the speed version of this. So I go to all the orange and the... So you can get these skills right here. See? Now, I was going to go over... Uh, the blue and the green but I don't know I mean it really it really is if you're really into the understanding of it and I, I know a lot of people are you know they want to have enough power and they, they don't they want to save all their um, um, their XP for the the fighting heroes you know what I'm saying or the people that you're going to use in your um, combinations however i find that it's better to have a very well-rounded account uh through my third or second season i did all the strongest heroes and then you get to a plateau where you can't go any further because of the rank anyway so i was like okay so i can only go to a certain level in the rank now you can depending on if you're Heroes are ranked like Brigadier or whatever versus somebody who's, let's say, a Major, right? And I think I'll go over that too. Not on this video, but in future videos. Um, but I, I have four accounts. So what I learned on my main account <laughs> is what I do to my um, these, these uh, sub-accounts because really these are... Are geared for resource gathering. Uh, they're uh, merchants. They're all merchants right now. So that way I can have the ability to transfer 
uh, resources back and forth to my main account. And um, I, th I don't know if it was Alt. I think it was Alt. Was asking me, how do you are able to do like multiple uh, accounts at the same time with them being active at the same time? Meaning I'm playing on all of them. Like I can, I can go to my other accounts. Well, I have four devices that I use. And I can have them all up at the same time, which currently I'm, I was making a video because we have a new process and which is kind of interesting, but I figured I needed something because I have to do this anyway. And the reason why I do the purple heroes to 50, because you need to use this to get these skills here, right? So you have this universal skill, but this active skill, you want to have this too as well, because this you know, I need this particular hero because I don't have as many um, orange heroes on this particular account that I do on my main account. So my I use these uh, purple heroes or fuchsia or pink or whatever you want to call it. I use these heroes more often. But the third skill is typically a universal skill on all of these from my understanding, I think. I could be wrong. There's a few that might not have a universal. But see, like, this is a universal skill, right? So that's why it's very important to make sure you have at least all your heroes to at least 30. Because if you do that, you'll be able to have that third universal skill that's going to be beneficial for all your uh, HQ and uh, making you that much stronger. Not to mention, this costs a lot in gold, so that's the reason why I steal gold. Well, I, well, I knew to steal gold. I guess with the new events coming up and healing, and <laughs> uh, you waste a lot of. I I went burned through a lot of uh, uh, heals. That's all I can say. Now, when you get to the blue heroes, you only go to thirty. And the reason why you only go to 30 is because that's what their skill is. So, I mean, at least you'll have that. And then also not to mention, um, it's good to have them up to 30 just because of your, what's it called? Alliance? No, 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 no. Um, That. Something sort of a gun. It's not your monument. Oh yeah, your hero center. And that way, um, your hero center's uh, heroes are going to be more competitive, and you'll be able to get your fraction bonuses and stuff like that. Like, for instance, this gives you 200, but at max, five, up to 500. So it's important to have these guys, you know, available to give you your resources. Um, and this one obviously gives you fraction bonus for that particular hero. And what's just funny is because this one is for your, you know, how many you can have the training. So it's important to get the universal skills to be used on your particular account. I think this one, see, this is training speed, right? Yeah, tank training speed. That's important, especially if you have a lot of mafia. Which you know, it to each their own. I'm not telling you to do this. This is just what I do. Some people are going to be different, 
but I feel if you have a nice base, um, and not to mention, you start off where you left off, really, to be honest with you. And when it's not that much experience to be wasted on, you know, these particular heroes, because the blue heroes are and the green heroes are so easily to come by. And it makes it to where you don't upgrade these. Because you need the skills to pay the bills. Like this guy's stone. Stone mill. You know what I'm saying? And people run out of that stuff all the time. And he's aircraft. See? So it's important. I think he's the last one. Oh, we got, I think she's water, yeah. I just opened up, not on this one, on my main, uh, on my other account. All right, so she's the last one. See, I can't go any further with him anyway. And I'm not strong enough to pass that level. So, anywho, that's what I do. So I say the last, I would say two weeks um, in your battlefield, don't open up the chest for the last two weeks and you'll get about 12 million XP for your starting of your, um, of, um, your heroes. And then you'll have all your active skills available. And you should be halfway decent looking. Now, this is one of my baby accounts in 166. So, it is what it is. This is K-Boss showing you what to do when you start in a new season. And how you can greatly and vastly affect your hero XP. This is K-Boss. And I'm out.